Do you know this game? Plants versus zombie, right? You know, right? Ah, good. Then I have a question. Okay, students, if you are new here, right, you just enter my class. I want you to on your video because I will talk to you later. Okay. So guys, switch on the video. So today's class, today's class is grammar seven to nine years old. You know, do you know this class? It's a preview for age seven to nine years old. Okay, let me show you. I know most of you, right? <gasps> Mommy asked me to come here, so I come. Now. I have no choice. I said I don't want, but she forces me to come, so I, I'm here. All right. This one. Why different? Because I'm wearing glasses. Ah, this one was so handsome. Now, also handsome. Okay. <laughs> Today, we'll learn pronouns. We have two types of pronouns. One is subject, do not annotate my screen. If you annotate my screen, I will kiss you. I have poisonous keys, you know. Ah, <laughs> okay. So there are two types of pronouns. One is subject pronoun. The other one is object pronoun. Cannot eat one. You eat, how to eat? Can't eat. Okay, raise your hand if you don't like English. You know there's, a, there's an emoji, right? You can click emoji and raise your hand. You don't have to raise your hand. This one, I'm tired. So raise your hand if you don't like English. Oh, the other people don't like English. Am I right? We are just, 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 some of you don't like English, why? <laughs> is it normal? When you find something new, it's difficult? Very normal. Mm. New things are always difficult, except games. You, ne you never say no to games, right? Games? Roblox, I want to play! Ah, never say no. Minecraft. Oh, I think Minecraft is very difficult. Never mind, I can try. Uh, English? Uh, don't want la. Hanana, very difficult. Cannot la. I cannot study. Essay? What is essay? Can eat one not? Cannot eat. So most people they resist things that they don't know. 就是说很多人都很看剧他们不会的东西。you don't know because you need to learn. After you learn it, you know. So if you know that thing, do you think you still resist that thing? Magic, right? Wow, why do you have teacher Uin here? Oh, teacher Uin. Because my mom will get angry. You study, not your mom, okay? Good. So before we start the lesson, I want you to see this one. Grammar class has got four different levels. You have grammar for ages seven to nine. Gram so level one, level two. Grammar for 10 to 12, level one and level two. So there are four levels, okay? So you have four levels to learn. So we have only four levels, not vocabulary English. So this one is grammar. Okay, so grammar, you will just learn how do you get the rules. Okay, please, Mr. Pry, I want to eat, I want to eat. What do you want to eat? I'm not food. I'm, do I look like a burger? I'm not a burger. I'm a human, by the way. Okay. My Chinese teacher is a magic, magic maker. So he turned you into a girl. So a boy becomes girl. Girls become boy. Magic what? Okay. So now look at this one. 
in grammar one, for ages seven to nine years old, these are the chapters you will learn. So many, right? 31 chapters. This is very normal. It takes one and a half year to finish this chapter. I mean, this lesson. Then you will go up to level. Wow. Wow, Kathleen, why my kids? Right? Kathleen, why are you? Oh, Kathleen. You like my kiss, right? Oh, okay, I'll give you two kisses. <laughs> so do not understand my screen, please. <laughs> okay, so there are 31 chapters. 31 chapters. You have articles, you have verbs, you have pronouns, you have, um, you have, oh, uh, have got, has got, possessive case, uh, tenses, present simple, present continuous, uh, article the was were could have past simple tenses adjectives and so on. These are the things that you will learn in grammar chapter one. Okay. Okay. I have one question. This question is very special. If you think you memorize all the voc vocabularies and you can score A in English, raise your hand. If you think to score A in your exam, the only way to score A in your exam is memorize all the idioms, the vocabularies, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Okay. So listen. The only way to score good marks in your essay is make no mistakes. All right. I give you a very simple example. Yeah, look at me. Yeah, look at me. Yeah. I give you a very simple example. If I tell you, hi guys, you are going to have exam tomorrow, 50 marks. Okay, 50 marks. Full marks, 50 marks. Okay. Can you, is it possible for you to score 60? Who marks is 50 marks. Is it possible for you to score, to score 60? No, right? No, right? Even right? Man, fun to us, fun, but I'm not doing it. It's an allusion. Look, you can't allusion. You see, oh, Harry Potter. You can't. So, 50 full marks, you will get only 50 for full marks, right? The only way not uh, to score full marks is Am I right? Am I right? We are pay the fast Right. So make good sentences without grammatical error. That's all. Then you can score 199, 98 in your exam. For sure. So these are the topics you will learn in grammar one. So see, today we learned, today we learned pronouns. We have both subject and object pronouns. Ready? So what I need you to do in my class is you're going to, I need you to grab a piece of paper. Do you have a paper? No. Or a exercise book? No. No, this is what you can do. Take off your t-shirt. I don't care if you're a boy or a girl. I take off your t-shirt. Right on your t-shirt. Ah, see? You can remember forever what? Good, right? Don't want? Don't want? So please go get a piece of paper or an exercise book. Good? Okay. We have Doraemon's here. Why do I have Doraemon's here? Okay. Okay. So nice to meet you. So today... Mm -hmm. So look at this one. <gasps> Zombie. Who is this? This is. Who is this? A uh, Junkai. Junkai loves candies. Meo yatsu, ni kamio yatsu. Ayo, poor boy. Okay. So. 
a question is zombie is zombie a human what is the pronoun for zombie he she it he she or it no idea you don't tell me you don't know what is she what is he what is it do you know why she he it do you know right ta 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 you don't tell me mr Pry, i have no idea why is she why is he why is it okay okay for as soon as they are not human you use it i t good now look at this one this is one of chapters under our grammar's for ages seven to nine, chapter um, level one. So today we'll learn pronouns. Oh, I will skip this one. You see, I, you know, I write war, not love. I mean, I, 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 war. You don't tell me, I will slap you. Not this one, eh? hello, excuse me, not this one. So I, you see, I, me. What's going on? You, you, he, him, she, her, it, it, we, us, you, you, they, them. <gasps> so confusing. Okay, skip. <laughs> okay, skip. Okay, now look at this one. So I want you to use your pencil. Do you have pencil or not? Do you have pencil? No pencil. <laughs> Do you want me to send a pencil to your house? Okay. So I believe your pencils, right? Get a pencil and write subject pronoun. Two words, subject pronoun. So subject pronouns. Please write down the notes. Two words, subject pronouns. Very simple. Subject pronouns means very important. Very important. You must remember this word. How to spell important? Very important. Subject pronouns means very important. Come on, please write down this one. Subject pronouns, you write equal very important. Okay. So why is it so important? So let me show you some examples. Before I show examples, right? Do you know what is singular, what is plural? Singular means one. Okay? Singular means one. Ika, one. Plural? More than one. So English and Chinese will be different. Why? Chinese, one. right? Two. Chinese, right? Three. Not many. But English is very simple. Plural. As long as more than one, we say, we call it plural. Just plural. One boy, boys. Wow, you can four boys. Simple, right? Okay, good. Okay. So, in subject pronouns, we categorize these pronouns into, we, we, okay. So, we put them in two categories, two groups. Let me show you. For example, I, you, he, she, it. I, you, he, she, it. I, how many? One, right? I, Jika. You don't tell me two, yeah? Two, ni pregnant, that's what's Hello? She pregnant. I, one. Kaylee, are you pregnant? One. 
One right, okay? So one, I, one. You? You? One. He? No, Ivan. Ivan is he. A he. He? A boy, right? One. She? Mehan. One. Mochi, you have to wake up. Let me show you your, your beautiful face. Mm. Okay. Mochi, we use ITE. Mochi, where are you? How many? One, right? See Mochi. Nice shirt. Hey, can you see Mochi, right? Hi, hi. Okay, you can sleep. It's like. Okay. So I want you to write singular I, you, he, she, it. Then do you have color pencil? Can we get color pencils? I'm like, wow, chok fei ah, chok fei ah, that can't see jiang zi ah. Am I Mr. Bean? I'm not Mr. Bean, right? I'm Mr. Brian ah. So get your color pencils and you write this one. I draw arrow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Like this. Then you write first person. Second person. Third person. In Chinese, the Iran turn, the Iran turn, the Sanran turn. In Basa Rai, Malay, Kata Nama Kandi Diri Patama, Kadua Katika. You may you may out. You suppose English is a Yoda. Right? Hmm. So, see. This one, I is first. Guys, listen. Think of. So, I is first person singular. Eww. Then you is second person singular. He is third person singular. She is third person singular. It is third person singular. So you see, you have this one. What about this? Plural? Mm, what is first person plural for I? First person plural I is, let me ask Bowie. Bowie? First person plural I. When you have two I together, it becomes two I together. Boi, e boi. Oh, let me ask Kathleen. Kathleen, when you have two I together, it becomes. 两个我在一起变什么？看到有人这样子，I saw this one。两个挨在一起，噔噔噔噔，Hello， <笑> Derek， We， Very good， We， We not angry but yeah， We， Hello， We， So first person plural we okay we skip you what about third person plural when you have he and t together it becomes ivan <laughs> when you have he and she together it becomes uh, we uh, they. he and she together becomes we becomes they they very good. He and he, they, he and she, they. Okay, we have two cats together. They, they are fluffy. Very good. Done? Okay, so see. My last question is, 
What about if we have two you together? 两个你在一起变什么? Okay, so I think I will get special and you know, creative answer from you guys. Let me get... If you want to answer my question right, you have to, you have to own your video. Then I will call your name. Okay, Evelyn. Evelyn? Plural of you. Uh, louder? You do. You mean you do? Why you do? You do see you, you look at the door. Why you do? Okay. Hi, Jeline. Jeline, right? Yes. Okay. Plural of you. When you have two you together, it becomes um, please try. Do you know the answer? No? Okay, let me get someone to help you. Iki, when you have two you together, the answer is. Plural. I know. Why is the plural of you? Okay, Joanne, try Joanne. Joanne, now you are unmuted. Give me your answer, please. The answer is. Uh, you have to unmute yourself. No, can't. Yes, join yeah, your, your yeah. day. When you have two you together, becomes day. Could try. Any other answer? Okay, Christine. Uh, is Sam with singular? Okay, also you. Very good. When you have two you together. You call it you. Okay, you still call it you. Liang is that as you. Very different compared to Chinese, right? Chinese, ni, ni man. But in English, we don't have ni man, we have you. So you and you. Good. So first person singular, first person plural. Second person singular, second person plural. So third person singular, third person plural. Get it? Oh, 学到了。所以哦,如果你要讲你们, please do not say, you are always bully me. 为什么有这个字?因为你们一直喜欢用你们。you translate from Mandarin. You, ni men, ni men, you, 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 you are. So use you. Get it? So you have to listen to me. See, you have to listen to me. Ni men, you. Okay? Hello, not this. I see you too. Hello, not this. I see you too. What is you too? He said, because to you, you and you, you two. Where are you? Not you two. Okay, so you get it? Okay, so remember, I told you, right? I said, subject pronouns, very important. You know why? Okay. Because... We always use subject pronoun to start a sentence. Am I right? I am so hungry. Correct? Can I write like this? K. 
เห็นไหมว่า so hungry am I yes or no can't no because subject pronoun is very important you need to use subject pronoun to start a sentence understand i n t e r t n t so you need to use it to start a sentence She is doing homework. Am I right? Can I write? Can I write this one? Is doing homework she? No, because she is subject pronoun, very important. So this one, incorrect. They are famous artists. Do you know artists, right? Hua Jia, Hua Jia. They are famous artists. Can I write? Artists famous are they? Yes or no? No, because they is subject pronoun. Very important. Look. Ah, so you let. เดี๋ยวยังทำอะไรสักอีกแล้วอีกจุดจุดเชื่อคุยแล้วมั้ยใช่ไหมสิฮัลโหลงี่โอเคว่าหนูมาพูดอีกแล้วจะคอนเฟิร์มเขาสิไม่ถูกเขาสิถูกมีวันสั้นสุดจะจุดคันตาวอ่ะเดี๋ยวเรียนเนี่ยวิมงตาวโอเค good so done with subject pronoun ชูเขาเนี่ยลีไฮโอเค next ทุกคนเนี่ยใช่ไหมโอเคอืมทั้งการสู้แล้ว subject pronoun now you have object pronoun so what is object pronoun อืมทุกคนดูยังไงโอเค object pronoun not so important so please write Object pronouns not so important. Subject pronoun very important. Object pronoun not so important. Good. Okay, so now see. Just now you have I, you have you, you have he, she, it. Wow, that's very small. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. My my writing is perfect. Too beautiful. Okay, we, you, and they. So now we need to change because object pronouns are not so important. We need to modify I, okay, turn it into something else. We have to change to other things, right? So we change to something else. You change to something else. He change to something else. So we can differentiate. Okay, this is subject pronoun. This is object pronoun. So, object pronoun not so important. So singular of object pronoun, okay. Sorry, um, object pronoun first person singular I becomes me. Hmm. Oh, for example, I. Kiss you. This one, I is which, which pronoun? Object pronoun, right? So important, right? Okay.
You kiss me, me. From I right? So it's from I like that. But because you know me is not so important, you do not use me to start a sentence. So you can put it in the front. You kiss me. Oh, yes, my sister. Get it? Okay. You. Or what about we? We becomes. Let me get Zi Ya Zi Yan to to tell me the answer. Zi Yan we becomes. We become. Uh. Uh. What is uh? We becomes. Ah. Ah. With you. Us. Oh, uh. good job, us. So we becomes us. I, me, we, us. So us is object pronoun, not so important. Okay, we'll just leave you. Leave it there. Do not touch you. Okay, what about he? He becomes... Uh, Berenice or Bernice and Mo. Try. He becomes. He's. He's. He's is possessive pronoun, a possessive adjective. Let me let me give an example. I kiss. Oh, sorry. He kissed me. I kiss. Change he to object pronoun. Guys, let me get Ziling. Ziling. He kissed me. Uh, sorry, not kiss. So he kisses me. I kiss him. Very good. So he becomes him. Well done. So him. Wow. If I say she kisses me. I kiss. So she becomes shiny. She becomes. Hmm. Very good. Wow. Kiss is so powerful. Now with kiss, you can answer all the questions. Hmm. What about it? I T. Hmm. It kisses me. Ye. Zombie, right? Zombie kisses you. I. <laughs> I kiss. Okay, Minjo. It kisses me. I kiss. It becomes. It becomes, try. Yeah. It becomes. He. Sure. Okay. Any any other answer? Uh, Ivan. Ivan with mask. Thanks. Mm, any other answer? Let me get Winnie. Winnie Chan. Yeah. It becomes. Yes, good job. It kisses me. I kisses it. You don't change the word for it. Remain the same. Good. Okay. Next, the power of love. I so they love me. I love. Let me get Quincy. Quincy. They love me. I love. So change them to us. Uh, change they to. Quincy. 
Try. Them. Very good. They love me. I love them. Okay. So for object pronouns, I, me, we, us, he, him, she, her, it, it, they, them. What about you? So if you can't get the answer right, see power of peace. I kiss you. No, you kiss me. I kiss. Chi mm. Chen. Mm. You kiss me, I kiss. Or Chi Wei, Chi Wei. You kiss me, I kiss. I kiss. Okay, Artina. You kiss me, I kiss. You. She wants to kiss me. Okay, you kiss me, I kiss you. So you see, they are both the same. We never change you. You, 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 you. Me Juan Guo. You, you. I'm so shy. <laughs> Athena says she wants to kiss me. Mm. Okay, I'm just kidding, yeah. Get it? The power of kiss and love. So next time, if you can't answer the question, use kiss and love for pronouns. Uh -huh. Then you get the answer. Correct. You can get the answer. Okay. Done. So, one thing. Let me use my powerful marker to highlight. So, see, you kiss me. Me is... Oh, no, I don't want this color. Me is... Object pronoun. Me is object pronoun. It is object pronoun. You also object pronoun. Me object pronoun. Them object pronoun. Him object pronoun. Her object pronoun. Me object pronoun. You object pronoun. Me object pronoun. What do you notice? Do we use Object pronoun to start a sentence. Guys, do we use object pronoun to start a sentence? You can't touch the whole man. We use object pronoun to start a sentence. Hello? Yunti, do we use object pronoun? This is like, you see, I circle that green one. All are object pronouns. 它是在句子的后面还是句子的前面? Answer? 那我问这个安哥他一直笑不知道一直笑什么来安哥安哥直言 He keeps laughing <笑> 来直言 Do we use object pronouns to start a sentence? No No right? Yes 啊, See? 全部在后面 that's why I said not so important. <laughs> okay. But we do not check. Okay. We do not check object pronouns like this. This is what you can see. Oh, 大概是这样子. I will tell you the rules later. You will see a lot of, uh, not a lot of rules. Three rules later. Ah. Then after this, you can play Queasy. Do you know what's Queasy? Queasy is not pizza, yeah? You can't eat Queasy. Okay, don't you? It's a problem, I love eating Queasy. I must send you to hospital. Okay, good, done. Okay, now next. So see, magic. Okay. Do you learn something new? Do you learn something new? 
Guess what? Oh, hi, Mochi. Good job. Mochi is sleeping. <laughs> okay. <gasps> My face. I'm a dragon. Okay. So C, meaning. Pronoun. I always with a capital letter. You do not do this. I love you. If you do this, So always with a capital letter. If you write I, small letter, then you will get this. I will slap you. So always with capital letter. I love you. I love you. Get, do you get me? 永远都大写 for I, 我这个人. Go. 哇,有人讲no啊,no什么意思 Christine, how are you? This class is for 7 to 9 years old, how old are you Christine? Ah, we have auntie here That's why Okay, so if you come to my class You will definitely learn something new Okay, 没有学到,你要问你自己为什么进我的班没有学到东西 See, Berenice 没有学,残了,残了,残了,我带record的,你残了,我也proof了,你没有学东西 So, the second one, you in the singular and plural So, singular you, plural you Get it? He he for a man or a boy. Do not use he for a girl. Do not tell me, you know my mom, right? He is so beautiful. If you tell me your mom, he is so beautiful, ask your mom to see me, come and see me. <laughs> okay? So mom, use she. Am I right? Okay. She for a woman or a girl. If you tell me, my brother, right? She is very naughty. Your brother is a she? Oh my goodness. Brother, a boy, use he. Sister is a girl, use she. You get me? Good job. Next. IT, it. For an animal or a thing. Animal or a thing? So, one question. Uh, so not, not a question. An, exam a, an example. Do not use IT it for humans or your friends. This is very rude. You know what? You know what? Iki, right? She bullies me. Oh, so, sorry, not she. Iki, right? It, it bullies me. Is Iki an animal? So do not use IT for human, please. They will cry. If you call me, you know Mr. Brian? It is so funny. I will cry. Use he, please. I'm a boy. I'm a man. Okay, good. Well, Shani, huh? Mr. Brian, IT it. I'm not IT that animal. You know, the clown, right? The clown. IT. Oh, that. that one. Good. Next. So these are the common, the knowledge that you need to know about pronouns. I always capital letter. Without capital letter, I will minus one mark. It means your teacher, they will minus one mark in your writing. 你没有写大写,就是扣一分在你的writing里面。如果你写十个小i,扣十分。Okay, good. Next. We for people, they for people, animal, and things. Okay, good. A group of animals, you use they. Two cats, they are so cute. 
we for people. Okay. Can I can I can I say this? See, coffee and I are both delicious. Am I am I am I am I a cup of coffee? I'm not right. So I can't say coffee and I are both delicious. Or pizza and I are both delicious. If I say so, I'm a pizza. Oh, you know what? Mochi and I are so cute. If I say so, I'm a cat. Am I a cat? No. So for people, okay, continue to sleep. Mochi is that? Okay. And in my class, you will see form. Form means what? Form means rule. Do you know what's rule? Do you play games? You do, right? Don't有一定有。没有。有可能。为什么没有玩game? One tofa. Do you play games? Okay, so we play games. We have rules in games. You must obey the rules. Then you score marks, right? Why do you play games? Because you want to win. You want to experience the moment you win the game. Yes! I'm the best. Hmm. See, Shani can't play the game. <laughs> so you want to score marks, right? Anyone here, the reason why you play games, because you want to lose the game. You may have not run. Oh, one game, you must lose game. You may have. No, right? So you want to win the game. That's why you play games, right? In English, we have form. We have rules. You need to obey the rules so you can score marks. So we call it form. Form means a rule. Just a quizza. Very simple. So look at the rules. You obey, then you score 100% in your exam. Trust me. Why do you call me Mr. Bright is beautiful? Okay, one thing. Okay, one thing. If you want to go to the toilet, right? You don't have to ask for permission because I don't have your toilet key. You can just go. You want, I don't have your toilet key. I have pencils here, mechanical, me, mechanical pencil, marker. I don't have your toilet key, so you can just go to the toilet, please. Okay, also do not raise your hand. Yes? Mr. Brian, where is your pen? So if you want to go to the toilet, please just go. So form number one, subject pronouns. Ah, oh, see, look, look, look at the screen. <gasps> subject pronouns plus verbs. This is the rule. Let me think about, uh, let me think of one example. Okay, I sleep. Is sleep a verb? Yes, right. I eat. Is eat a verb? Do you know what is a verb? Do you know verb, right? Action, a verb. 动作, 动词. Okay. Yes, right. So I sleep, I eat. I laugh. <laughs> a verb, right? Okay. That's why you see I, subject pronoun, laugh. A uh, laugh, a verb. So, subject pronoun always come with a verb. You see, they are both together. You can't separate them. I laugh, I eat, I sleep, I talk, I... Okay? So, these are examples for subject pronouns plus a verb. So, and you look at this one. Mr. Brian, you said verb, right? What are these? They know me. I don't know them. So let me tell you. Auxiliary verb is a verb 
tells time. Huh? Verbs can tell time? Are you serious, Mr. Brian? Yes. Auxiliary verbs tell time. You don't trust me, right? Okay. Give you an example. I am eating. I was eating. They are both auxiliary verbs. Okay. I am eating means this moment. Oh. Cookies. What? Oh, ASMR. Okay, this moment, I am eating at the moment. 现在这一刻我在吃东西. I was eating, first things right, just now, I was eating in the toilet. <laughs> okay, I was eating, already passed right, during that moment, I was eating. 刚才我躲在... So I was eating. So both verbs are auxiliary verbs. They tell, they tell time. Action verb. Action verb. You can see. If I say... I am swimming. Can you see swim? Oh, sorry. If I say I swim, can you see swim? Yes, you can, right? If I say I, I cry, can you see? Yes. <laughs> okay. If I say I love, I love Lala Bell, can you see? Can you see love? Can you see love? Can't. You don't tell me. I love Lalabel. You can see hearts pop out from my heart. You can't see, right? But can you feel? You can feel. If I say, um, um, Darren Junsia. I hate you. You always bully me. <laughs> so I don't want to talk to Chun Xiang. You can't see how much I hate him, right? But can you feel? You can feel it. Okay, you can feel. So for those verbs you can feel, we call stative verb. Feel. Action verb, you can see. Ah, good. Simple, right? Okay. So, subject pronoun, I think, I feel, I love, I hate, I like. So, they are always together for subject pronoun. See, Steve is a teacher. Steve is a teacher. He's from England. So, is is a, an auxiliary verb. She loves eating chocolate. Loves is a static verb. Okay. I go to school on Wednesdays. Go is an action verb. You can see I go to school. If you can't see go, maybe I think Mr. Bright is a ghost. That's why you can't see I go to school. Okay, so these are verbs. Subject pronouns always stay with. Okay, subject pronouns stay with verbs. Good. Oh, number one. We still have three minutes. Okay, that's see. 
Form number two, object pronouns. เอาฝันตะเล่ See? just now subject pronoun verbs now verbs object pronouns ต่อฝันต่อฝันต่อฝันต่อฝันนำเปลี่ยนอยู่นี้เปลี่ยนนั่น get it so object pronouns always after verbs subject pronouns always Before a verb, it goes at the end, it goes at the end. Correct? Example, Stacy doesn't like them. See, like is a static verb. Them, object pronouns. At the end, it's not important, right? So, it's an object pronoun not so important. Remember? At the end. Can you tell, can you call me later? Call me, me, see. Me is not so important, so. Can you call me later? Verb, object pronouns, later. Where is Jane? I can't find her. Can I, can I say I can't find she? No. She is very important. You need to use she to start a sentence. Am I right? So her is not so important. It could be here. After verb. Clear? Mm. So next time, right? If you see a question like this, if you see a question like this, can you answer the questions correctly? Yes, right. Anyway, you know that object pronouns always after verbs, isn't it? We talk about what's good, isn't it? Hello, I'm talking to you. Okay, William. Okay, last one. For object pronouns, one more condition, one more rule. Preposition plus object pronouns. Huh? What is preposition? On, in, under, at, behind. After, before, with, uh, uh, between, at, in. So these are prepositions. Remember, these are prepositions. So you see prepositions. We have preposition of time, preposition of place, inside the box. Inside is preposition. Understand? I'm not understanding what you're saying. I'm not very good. Okay, so. Okay. So say the fang, okay, at home, at one o'clock on Wednesday, on Thursday. So it's yet those preposition. For example, look at you now, look at me. Look at you now, look at me. Do you know this song? Do you know this song? How you like that? Da 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 da. This song. Go and play it, please. That you will see this sentence in the lyrics. Look at you now. Look at me. Preposition at me. Object pronouns. Come with us to the cinema. With us to the cinema. Good. Get it. So object pronouns always after preposition. That's it. Now, any questions? No, right? Let me show you something. Okay. I'm not forcing you to to stay here, but let me on quizy. Ah ah ah! Don't want. Okay, no, never mind. What do you want to hold here? Do you want quizzy? Okay, second. You want quizzy? You have to wait. Okay, wait for me. Oh, second. Okay, quizzy, right? I want to. What do you want to play? Want to play, Mister Brian? Can. <laughs> um. Let me 
uh, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna give you ten minutes to play this. Okay, you want to play a uh, live quiz, right? Quizy, right? Okay. So this one, you have ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. Um, how? Okay. Good. Ready? Not ready. Ready? Not ready yet. Okay, so there is one link in the chat. I want you to click the link and do the quiz now. Okay. Click. The game ends at six or uh, ten past or uh, ten past six. Ten past six. So once you click the link, you will see something like this. Not my face, but quizzy. This is what you will do after my lesson. I will I want you to do quizzy. Okay. Now, now please click the link and join the quiz now. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Remember the rules. Subject pronoun plus a verb. Rule number two, verb plus object pronoun. Number three, preposition plus object pronoun. With these rules, you can answer all the questions. Can I start? Come on, we have 40 students here, come on. 40 um, participants, go, 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 join now. Go, 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 go. 20. Click the link. You have only one attempt. So do not leave the quiz. Just continue to do and see how, what is your score? Okay, so let's start. You just click the link and you can, you can, you can join the quiz. Okay, so the code is 422660. So let's start. Yeah. Music. Continue to join up. Try the quiz now. Come on. Wow, good job. Well, you have three more minutes. Come on, three more minutes.
Good job. You see all the question, uh, all the questions. Two more minutes. Wow, very nice. Ito, if you can't join right, I think right, you need to copy the link and get your mom's phone to join. It's supposed, I think you can join. Everyone can join this one.